It's time Hobo! Hi, it's Todd I Hobo in beautiful Hawaii on the Kona side. So if you ever come over to Hawaii, come on over and check out Todd I Hobo or Google it. So today, I'm going to show you a really cool treat. You know, they're always special, they're always a treat, and they're always cool, right? So today, I'm going to show you the sunburst. The sunburst. Right, it's one of my originals. It's uh, back in the day, long ago, around 1992, I was tie dyeing some stuff, about three shirts at a time, and I had them on a little five gallon bucket with a little rack on it. I went to go get something to eat. When I came back, a windstorm knocked it over, and I thought, oh no, they're ruined. And after I opened them up, I believe God really knocked over the rack to show me a cool technique I could show the world. This is really cool. It's called the hang dye. I call this one the sunburst because it looks like sunburst into the side. See, I never was taught how to tie dye. I just had to learn on my own. So I'm showing you all the secret tricks and everything that I had to learn by many mistakes. But remember, your mistakes could be your next design or your next success. So always remember. Have a great. Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> Okay, so after you got your shirt soaked in the soda ash and you've done spun it out in the spin cycle in the washer, your shirt's ready to dye. Remember, you're not going to eat no rubber bands with this design. You're not going to need no measuring device. <laughs> no special tools or nothing needed. All you need is just a clothes hanger and a clothes pin. What you do, you're going to get right here under the uh, underarm. And you grab this little pin, pin point right here. Doesn't matter what side you got it hanging from. And you're going to pin it on your on your clothesline, line like this, right? You have a clothesline, right? And you have it hanging up here. And you also have a drain bucket. I made it where you can see everything. See, I, I designed this rack where you can do it indoors, right? Put the plastic right here where it drains into a bucket, and I save the excess fluids for my black base and stuff like that. So, what we're gonna do, remember, Perfection is boring, nobody's perfect, and nothing's perfect unless God did it himself, okay? And I thank God for the credit for all the talent that I do, because he gave me the talent and I get to share it with everybody. So it's a beautiful thing. So always share whatever you have, because that's a beautiful thing. So we have, we're going to start off with yellow here, all right? And then we're going to squirt the yellow on top of this thing, angle it down. See how I'm just pushing it down, and then turn it around, do the same thing. But see now, see the crevices? I'm gonna stick it inside the crevices and squirt it inside. So that way it shoots all the way in, down to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and shoot one in this crevice here. Okay, so now it's gonna go all the way down. So now we're gonna get a uh, little orange. I make my colors, so you can check out the other previous videos that I have, where I show you how to mix colors and stuff. And um, where I get the dyes from is dharmatradingcompany.com. Okay, my website is tiedyehobo.com. You can always check out all the different various designs and colors that I, I, I offer. <laughs> 
All right, so here we go. We're going to have the bottle tilting downwards, but not too much. We're going to go about an inch below the top. So watch. I'm just going to go just a little bit like that, and a little bit like this, okay? Now we're going to get pink. You got pink. Pink is pretty easy to make. You have just a little portion of the red, just a little bit, you know, a quarter of the spoonful, and that makes pink. Okay, a quarter spoonful of the red compared to a regular spoonful. Now we're going to come around here and squeeze it downwards here. Okay, like that. Give it a little helpers here and there. Right here, maybe. Okay. Now we have turquoise. Turquoise is a really beautiful color. I love all the colors. Psychedelic is really my favorite color. It's like people. Everybody's beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to come down about six inches below the top of this line. You can do it any which way you want. I'm just showing you the basics, like kind of showing you how to ride a bike. I mean, you could take off in there and do all kinds of jumps and stuff, you know? So, and yeah, I'm just basically showing you the basics of this cool technique. And I'd really love to see how awesome you guys are going to make everything, you know? So, here we go. About six inches below. And I give it a downward squirt. That, how it's dripping down. So now I come back with the yellow again. I gotta get the top of the yellow. I'm gonna squirt it down just a little bit more down the crevice. So you stick it inside the crevice. <laughs> squirt. Uh, <laughs> okay. So now we got that action going. And I just add just a little bit of purple. Not much. A little bit of purple just to go around it and circle but watch. That's it. Okay? So if you done let just let it sit like that for 24 hours. You know, and then uh it, it's doing its own thing right now. It's like melting downwards. And uh, so get your washer going, get the water going in there, get mild soap, and then get the water already ready to go, agitating. And just get the whole thing, just plop it in there, and then let it go, okay? And then just don't don't peek at it, don't open it up or nothing until you just plopped it in the watch after you pull it out. All right? So let's go check it out and see what it looks like again. Hang on. Okay, so this is what your finished product's gonna look like, but it might even look better, okay? You can do them so many different colors, right? This is just this color scheme. Like, check out this one here. I did this one here in a purplish kind of like effect. I started off with pink, then turquoise it down with a little yellow in there, and then some purple. So you can do any color schemes you want, right? They all look rad. So let's go back to the beginning. This is what we just got done making, the sunburst design. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, and uh, I really appreciate it. If you really like it a lot, subscribe and hit the notification button. <laughs> and check out my website, tiedihobo.com, and there'll be more and more stuff to come, right? Because I got a lot of different techniques and tricks to show you guys. All right? Thanks for coming over and checking it out. Aloha.